a bride's ghosting you? Are they ignoring your text messages and your emails and your phone calls? Yeah, it's a frustrating, right? <laughs> Let's talk about why in today's show. Hello everyone, welcome back to Bridal Business TV. I'm your host, Dawn Rose. And today's show, we're gonna be talking about why brides ghost you, okay? Ghosting you meaning that they're all kind of excited and happy and they contact you and then you send them the quote and then you don't hear from them ever again. So I wanna talk about that today and what we can do to kind of get over that. So good morning guys, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I see Ashley's here. Good morning, Ashley, thank you. Hello, hello. Welcome guys, please hit that share button so that people know that we are live. If anyone wants to share it into the Bridal Solace community worldwide, please go ahead and do that for me. That would be fantastic. Or start a watch party even better. Um, I thought it was interesting today. I've seen a lot of, um, I've seen a lot of comments about this. I'm just bringing up my notes because I have them on my, <laughs> I have them on my phone. They're ready to go. Um, I've, I've had a few. I've, I've seen a few things lately about brides and how they. Um, I, I wouldn't say that they're ignoring you, um, but we do. I guess they are in a way. But I want to explain to you what happens when you send quotes to your brides and they don't get back to you and why they don't get back to you. Because I think there's a few reasons why this happens. Um, and I think there's a few things that we can do from our point of view to actually alleviate it. Hey, Tina, hey, morning, doll, how are you? Morning, morning. I've got my Aussies on this morning. Hey guys, welcome, welcome. So um, we are, um, we, we've got a, 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 it's quite dark on me today and I've got two lights on and I'm in front of a window. And um, that just shows that Melbourne is extremely overcast this morning. We are a little bit miserable today. So, which is a bit of a pain. Oh, that's a, that's <laughs> just a random spare phone, not even my phone going off. Right, so we get into today's content. I wanna talk about how, the, what, how and why these brides ghost us. And kind of, I think we get worried that we send over these quotes to brides and then we're like, well, you know, why haven't they got back to me? Why aren't they um, sending me their, you know, what, why aren't they booking? And I think that there is a kind of logical path that we can take with brides in order to make sure that we're kind of getting our message across to them and we're giving them uh, a little bit of a sense of urgency. So the first thing I wanna say, so my number one reason why brides will ghost you is because they were probably just price shopping. So if you don't have your prices on your website, I'm gonna tell you again right now, if you are new to this business or if you've been doing this for a while and you are struggling to secure brides, put your prices on your website. Even if you just start with a prices from, I don't care, get some kind of monetary value on your website. The reason is, is because when brides hit your website and then they contact you, now the, the, the brides actually do take the time to contact you, some of the times what they're gonna do is they're gonna contact you and they're just gonna be, they're gonna be contacting, you know, four, five, six other artists and all they're doing is getting a price, okay? So if, you're, if you've got your price on your website, they're gonna know instantly, do I want an actual physical quote, which takes a little bit more kind of um, mindset from a bride because they're thinking, well, I know how much they charge, so I know roughly, um, they, they, I know, I know roughly how much they charge, and I know roughly, um, you know, what it's going to cost me. If I, if I then submit myself for, a, you know, an actual formal quote, that in the mindset of a bride, that they're actually taking that one step further with you because they're kind of ready to commit. If a bride has seen your prices on your website and they know what you charge, they're not asking for a quote just for the hell of it, are they? They're not just shopping around for a quote. 
they're actually specifically going hey I really like what you've got going can you do this can you make this a little bit formal for me so I can you know take it to the powers that be and tell them how much it's going to cost and we've already got questions coming in I love it okay so Tina says um, I won't book someone if they don't have the price on their website. I know, yeah, me exactly, Tina. I'm totally, I'm, I'm exactly the same as you. I, I look at prices before I shop places. Um, because, you know, we all have a budget. Hello, like, I'm not made of money. There are some things I was talking yesterday, and I'll, I'll, I'll this is actually my number two as well where I said, people don't, the, uh, the second reason why, um, and if you didn't watch yesterday's video, I want you to go and watch yesterday's video. But the, the second reason why brides ghost you, right, and they don't return your phone calls and they don't, um, they don't come back to you is because they don't see the value in your product, okay? So that's the second reason. But I'm, I'm tying that up with what Tina said because it's the same thing. So I go onto a website and um, to see whether I can afford that person's services or not. And, you know, if something is, you know, three, four hundred dollars, if it's not the value of that, of, of what they're showing me, I'm, I mean, even if you do think it's worth it, but you just don't have the budget for it, you've got to remember that. So even if you go onto somebody's website and they've got the price there, they've got to be able to see the value. So those two things tie in together. So number one, put your prices on your website. And number two, show them what they get for their money. People need to see what they're getting for their money. So it's really, really, it's really, really something that you have to instill into people. And, you know, most of the time with brides, like they don't, they, they, they want to get things done straight away. That's the other thing you've got to remember that unless their wedding is maybe two years away and therefore booking you is not a priority, guys. Some brides, they just, you know, they, they are doing the price shopping. What they probably don't realize is that when they're ready to book in 12 months time, that price has probably gone up significantly. Um, so, you know, the, the whole pricing thing is really important. So the first couple of reasons why people are ghosting you is one, you've not got your prices on your website, and two, they don't understand the value of your product, okay? Um, let's see what else. So if everyone's asking, um, how much are you charging for bridal updos? Um, so Yvonne, it, uh, it's hard to say that. Um, for me, when I was doing it, I was charging anywhere. I started at around $80 for an updo and then moved right up to now, which is almost, 200 is probably about 175 um but it just it really depends on your client uh, if you're sort of asking to to work out what you should charge it really depends on your client it depends on your area and it depends on the, the sort of brides that you're attracting in your business because um for me i've gone from being sort of just um an everyday bride to now because my business is a lot more exclusive and I don't do as many weddings because this side of things keeps me <laughs> fairly busy these days. Um, I only do the sort of high-end brides, but, um, or higher-end brides, not real high-end brides, but um, yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of difficult to say. And you're probably better off asking in the, the forums where there's a big, you know, there's a lot of people and they'll give you ideas. But I really think it, it's, it's very unique. Pricing is very unique to, to everyone. Um, in this business, um, Tina's saying I don't have the time to spend. To, I don't have the time to send a second email and wait a week before they get back to me. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I completely understand what you're saying there as well. Yeah. So by the time you've sent in your quotes, you know some people don't get back to you on time. So it's it's absolutely true, absolutely true. And I'm going to give you another reason. I've got five reasons today why these brides are ghosting you. Okay, my third reason is is that sometimes people just need more time to make a decision. Now, um, I've got my masterclass coming up uh, next week. It's called Bit More Brides. Okay, and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to teach you how to attract more brides um, and get them onto your email list um, to then to then have that relationship with brides before before they're ready to commit before they're ready to book so what happens is is that a bride who is maybe even doing that bit of a browse that bit of a price shop she submitted um, their details for a quote and they she then 
you know, waits for you to reply, you reply back, and then it's like a couple of days time and, and she, you haven't heard anything from her and you were kind of hoping to book it in and then you start chasing her and then she's like, oh, that person chasing me. Um, I, 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 I haven't got that sorted yet. Um, I need to speak to mum or dad. You've got to remember that brides aren't always the one paying for their hair and makeup. It could be that it's being gifted by someone and therefore they've got to get the money from someone else. Now, I'm not saying that we shouldn't follow up with brides because, again, that's a sequence I teach inside of my Become a Bride Magnet program. I teach a sequence of how you connect, how you get your quote, how you then get your brides into the door and get them signed those contracts. Track. That is a there is a sequence to it and there is a method to it and I teach that inside of my um, program. For those of you who want, that's module six, guys. Um, but you have to remember that there are some brides who are getting these quotes and then they're passing them over to mums or grandmas or you know in laws and they have to get approval first. So they're not maybe not ghosting you because. Um, they don't like what you've got or they don't, you know, people just, they get busy. This is a wedding as well. You have to remember this is a wedding. People get busy. People get sidetracked. They think I must do that and then they don't and then work happens. You know, people have lives. We all lead very, very busy lives and I know that we want to turn around and go, oh yeah, but it's just common courtesy for someone just to shoot me back an email and say, you know, thanks, I'm thinking about it. But we don't do it. Like, we're all guilty of it. We're all guilty of um, of not replying to someone and then thinking it's a month later later and you've gone oh I can't believe it. I forgot to reply to someone you know I had I had someone um I was messaging someone yesterday and they didn't reply to me until this morning um and it was like oh I'm so sorry you know I haven't got back to you you know my little one's not well today so you know if things happen and you have to understand that things happen okay so fourth reason why brides are ghosting you okay Fourth reason, people don't like to be pestered. Uh, I'll tell you this, I'm going to tell you a story. My husband and I, we were um, looking at building this house that we've got today. It's very common for those of you in the States. It's very common in Australia for you to find land here or house and land packages and then you build a house on land, okay? It's quite common in, in Australia. It's not so much in the in the UK, I don't think, or it certainly wasn't when I lived there. You kind of, you always buy an existing house. But in, 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 um, in Australia... There's a fair bit of land here. So you you buy land and or and then you build a house on it. And we were looking for a house builder. And there are, you know, lots of house builders. You can go and look at display homes and stuff. And we had narrowed our design of our house down to two different styles, okay? Uh, with two different companies. And we liked them both. They had the features that we wanted in this in this house and we loved it. And I can tell you this. I went with the company who didn't pester me, who didn't keep freaking calling me and leaving me messages and asking me when I was, I kept, you know, I said to them, uh, thanks very much, I'll let you know. And then all they did literally every day for probably about a, the best part of two weeks was constantly call me. Stop pestering your brides. People do not like to be pestered. They're, we all think, we all learn, we all do in a different way. We all think differently. Some of us take action, right? We take action, we do it there and then, and we make a connection and we go for it. Some of us like to get all the information first. We like to watch, <laughs> we like to read, we like to take it all in. And then we make a decision. Some of us get the information, we watch, we read, we take it all in, we discuss it with a few other people first, we talk to our friends, we talk to our family, and then we make a decision. So you have to, again, I'm not saying don't follow up with your brides, but I am saying, number one, don't get offended when they don't get back to you, because you know what? Brides who really want you and they're ready to book and pass that cash on to you, we'll make a booking. Those that aren't may just need a little bit more time and you have to give them that time and rather bombarding them with, I'm just following up about the quote I sent you. I'm just following up about the quote I sent you. If you have any questions about the quote I sent you, just stop, stop that. Take a step back and go, you know what? I'm gonna pace this out. If she's not ready for me, she's not ready for me. Or you're gonna just take it that, you know, she doesn't want to book you. Just get over it. Move on and look for other brides and look for other opportunities. I know that's a bit harsh. I'm never harsh, guys. 
It's not really harsh, it was tepid. But that's my form of harsh. Just get over it. Just get over it. Move on to the next bride. If they're ghosting you, there are reasons in play. Okay. Fifth reason why brides are ghosting you. Guys, for those of you that are on, please hit that share button for me or, or start a watch party or something. Please go ahead and, and do that for me so that um, I can reach more people. Um, share it into your forums, into your groups for me. That'd be great. All right. And the fifth reason, okay, the fifth reason, and this is a really dumb one, okay, but it happens all the time. The fifth reason why brides ghost you is because you didn't tell them what to do. You just plain didn't say to them, hello, make a booking, click here, or call this number to make a booking. You just didn't do it. You just forgot to give the call to action. Do you know how many times people are like, thank you so much for your code, please find it attached you know, if you have any questions or queries, let me know. And then that's it. That's it. It's like, okay, I will. You know, you're reading this quick thing. Yeah, if I have got any, I don't have any questions or queries, so I'm not going to call them. It wasn't a case of click here to make your booking or giving them that sense of urgency. They have to realize I'm a bridal stylist just to let you know that I book my brides and my weddings out 12 to 18 months in advance. If you're within that time frame if your wedding is within that time frame, please note that my dates go really quickly. So click here to lock in a consult with me today, tomorrow, next week, whatever it is, give me a call because you know I can't I I don't hold dates without a deposit. So you you have to tell them what to do. Tell them to call, tell them to message, tell them to make an appointment. So many people forget to do that. So they ghost you because they're like, I don't have any questions about this damn quote. Why is she calling me? She, you know, I don't, I don't need to know anything now. I'm just I'm thinking about it, you know, and then they get annoyed. So I'm going to go over those five things. So five reasons why your brides are ghosting you. Number one is because you do not have your prices on your website. Put your prices on your website. Number two, they do not understand the value of your products. Okay, so that one, go back to yesterday's, um, go back to yesterday's video. And I talk all about how you can make a bride understand the value of your product. So having charging that $100 compared to the $250 that you're charging and, and how that works with brides. Okay, number three, um, they need more time to make a commitment. Just give them a bit more time. Remember that there are other people involved when it comes to a wedding and they may need to ask permission from other people. Number four, the fourth reason why brides are ghosting you is because you keep pestering them, leave them alone. Can <laughs> leave them alone, move on when they're ready and if they're ready and if they want you, they will book you, okay? Follow up, yes, but pace yourself. Okay, number five, the fifth reason why brides ghost you is because you did not tell them what to do. Give them a call to action. Make sure you tell brides what to do. Is everyone with me today? Give me some hearts, give me some thumbs up, give me some smiley faces, whatever you guys want to do. Does everyone, does everyone with me today, this morning, let me know. I know that we're on a little bit of a delay when it comes to um, Facebook. So thank you guys. One heart just went up. That's pathetic, guys. Come on now. I need some hearts. It's a Thursday morning. Oh, there we go. Oh, thank you. There we go. <laughs> People are tapping the screen now. Thanks, guys. All right. So if you didn't watch yesterday's video, go back and watch that because I talk about how we have a $100 price, price tag and a $250 price tag and why brides tend to go with the cheap version. Okay. And um, we talked all about that in yesterday's show. Um, thanks, Simone. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I'm actually getting some thumbs up and stuff now. I think I'm going to have to keep getting you guys to do this. I'm going to have to keep telling you. Hit the, hit the parts. Hit the shares. Hit the hit the thumbs up for me. I need to keep giving you guys calls to action too. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today. Nice and quick. Um, any questions, let me know. Do not forget that you can join my masterclass, which I'm going to put into this right now. Um, because I don't think I put it in the top, but I will dot com forward slash book more brides we're going into this in a bit more detail we're going to talk about sequences talk about how and why brides book and how we can get more of them to get onto our email lists okay so don't forget to sign up um, that is going off on Monday morning and I'll do a repeat, a follow up on Wednesday night. So Australian times. So please check your time zones. It'll be Sunday night for those of you in the Northern Hemisphere and probably Wednesday morning 
um, for those of you in the northern hemisphere. Bye guys, have a good day.